So welcome to the 26th International Symposium on Lepton-Photon Interactions at High Energies. This conference is the premier conference for high energy physics and it's sponsored by the International Union of Physics and Applied Physics. The conference is hosted by SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory, which is part of Stanford University and is one of the major uh, national laboratories in the United States. Cloud Chamber is a um, piece for violin and subatomic particles which was commissioned by Peninsula Arts Contemporary Music Festival 2011 and premiered there. Um, it was developed at the Interdisciplinary Centre for Computer Music Research at Plymouth University. Um, and basically what it involves is a violin score that I wrote and a piece of equipment. It's a glass box that you cool down to minus 200 degrees C and you fill with liquid ethanol and it makes cosmic rays from the atmosphere actually visible in the performance on the stage. We put a camera over these cosmic rays and we track some of the rays, some of these subatomic particles, and then we actually turn them into sound. So the, the, in a sense, the cosmic rays are playing sound along with the violinist. What's particularly exciting about this performance of Cloud Chamber is that it's part of the Lepton Photon 2013 Banquet. This is the uh, premier um, fundamental particle physics conference and this year it's being um, held by uh, SLAC um, National Accelerator Laboratory here at San Francisco. And we're in this wonderful venue, the California Academy of Sciences, which um, they've invited us to come along and, and perform that here. So I'm extremely excited. I'm going to have an audience of some of the world's most prominent physicists, so my dream audience, uh, for this type of piece of music. Tonight we're very pleased to have Alexis Kirk. He comes to us from the University of Plymouth, and it's our own Brian Foster that recommended that he come here and be with us tonight. He is from the Interdisciplinary Center for Computer Research and Music, and he's from Plymouth University in the UK. Tonight he's going to perform Cloud Chamber, duet between violinist and subatomic particles. The violinist is Alina Polanska, who is a local uh, musician in the area, and we're very pleased to have her tonight as well. So please, let's welcome Alexis and Alina.
Thank <laughs> you. 
So um, I'm an experimental particle physicist, um, professor at uh, Stony Brook University in New York. I'm attending Lepton Photon Conference. This is uh, one of the biggest, most prestigious conference in uh, in particle physics. And you know, but uh, you sit through a week of uh, boring talks, but then. I had uh, this wonderful opportunity of uh, hearing this uh, uh, modern uh, piece of music that uh, combines a cloud chamber, a science, and uh, uh, you know, a very nice uh, 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 interpretation of that. So uh, the work is uh, exquisite, and uh, I like it not only, it captured the essence of the randomness of the cosmic rays uh, generating image in a cloud chamber, also, at the same time, it interprets with the mu uh, musically, and that, that uh, brings out the both natural randomness with the beauty of, uh, of music. So I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, my name is Hitoshi Murayama. I work at the University of California, Berkeley, and also at the University of Tokyo. And we study particle physics, which means that we would like to understand how the universe works at the very most fundamental level uh, from the microscopic world. And when you look at the universe, it works on a sort of very predictive way. The, sun, the Earth goes around the sun once a year. We rotate around its axis once a day. Everything looks so predictive. But if you really would like to understand how the universe started, it started out the size of the universe was smaller than the size of an atom. It was a microscopic world where uncertainty principle rules. Everything is random, unpredictable. And the kind of music we heard today from Alexis today is really about this combination of predictiveness of macroscopic world and unpredictiveness of the microscopic world coming from this display of cosmic rays affecting the familiar classical tune the violinist played. And that combination is exactly where we work in. And so it was really fascinating to me. So I hope that Alexis will keep up, keep up his work. And that uh, was a fascinating music today.